want to be the best, you got to play against the best, you got to train against the best. We're excited to reach out to the community and provide additional training to what players are already re receiving at their home club. It's not a replacement from what they're currently getting, uh, however it is a curriculum designed to be taught by TFC coaches in the TFC way to help players realize their potential. What are those first steps towards developing high level players and what does that first phase of development really need to look like? Um, so we've come up with the Me, We, Us curriculum which really breaks down uh, the development pathway especially at those foundational stages. I think within the club environment, it's vital that you put some of your best coaches down in, in those youngest age groups from 7 to 13, where they can again create a foundation for learning for uh, the latter stages. From 7 to 13, I think in, you know, around the world they call them the golden years. I, I, for me, it's they're really the most important years to set a foundation of, of really learning the game uh, as the player gets older. And I think in the youngest, the most important thing is to, to put them with the ball, to show them how to, to touch the ball, but to give them the pleasure to touch the ball and to manipulate the ball, I think it's the most important thing. As the kids grow, there's a maturation and there are changes, and they're different for every kid. Each month, we'll check height and weight, and actually shoe size as well. Looking to find the times when these kids are going through a growth spurt so we can adjust their training program. And that's a huge differentiator, I think, in sport. The idea, it's long-term athletic development. The environment that we create at Kia Training Ground is second to none in North America, and we want to expand that so that people are feeling that professional environment across Ontario. I think the potential of players in uh, North America is huge because you have a lot of different players, especially in Toronto with a lot of different nationalities. If you want to increase the level of uh, uh, the first team as well, it's important to, to work with them as soon as possible. We are always looking to the future. The kids that come here aspire to play for the first team. They all won't make it but we want them to make it, and we want to give them the best opportunity to get there. And we do it effectively and safely. There has to be a relationship and comfort level with the ball that, that a player must have. Uh, the second thing is, is the game is played between your ears, ultimately, when it's all said and done. Players have to be, you know, emboldened by their environment, not held back by the environment.